Country singer and songwriter Taylor Lynn was born into country music royalty. She really was. She is the granddaughter of the queen of country, Loretta Lynn. And Taylor reflects on her personal relationship and the musical influence from her grandmother in her very first solo recording, Taylor Lynn Sings Loretta Lynn. The tribute recording features 13 of Loretta Lynn hit songs, including Coal Miner's Daughter, You Ain't Woman Enough, and Sweet Thing. Here to tell us more, would you please welcome somebody I'm predicting gonna be a big star. We're gonna get to see her here tonight. Taylor Lynn, welcome her. I'm so excited to have you here. It's kind of like having the reincarnation of Loretta Lynn with us here. Well, thank you, Governor. I'm so excited to be here. Are you kidding me? What? Your grandmother, I mean, she is just an amazing songwriter, singer. We were talking earlier that it, it's the authenticity of her music and the lyrics. It's like she's just painting a picture of life that people have lived. I mean, I know you got to hope that that's rubbing off on you. You got to pray it is. <laughs> I have spent so much time with her on the road and at home, and she has helped mold me, I guess, into what I'm doing today. So I do pray that some of just like that much of her is rubbing off on me. You have been on the road with her. You've mm -hmm. lived out there at the place. And, and, and so obviously she's helped mold you. What are some of the things that she has said? Now, Taylor, this is important. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> Learn three chords on a guitar. <laughs> also, get in the bathroom with a tape recorder and sing a song over and over and over again until it sounds the way that you want it to. Hmm. And remember that country music is about family. When you started putting this album together, you picked 13 songs of your grandmother you said you wanted to pay tribute to her with. That must have been a tough job, just figuring out which ones you wanted to pick. It was. Uh, you know, she helped me pick some of them out. And then a couple of the songs were ones that my mom would sing around the house, like Black Eyed Peas and Blue Eyed Babies and <laughs> Old Rooster and God Bless the Children Everywhere. Like, those mm. were just songs that were in our home or in the car. And the other ones were, you know, we picked some hits, but we tried to do songs that I really loved and ones like You Ain't Woman Enough, which is her favorite song yeah. that she's ever done, so. And one of the things I find interesting, she and Conway Twitty yes. performed so many times and Conway Twitty's grandson, Trey, yes. and you are now going out on tour. We're a duo. That is. Yes. And you know the history of this theater that we're in? This is the house Conway Twitty built. We we're are so in thrilled. Twitty City. We are, and we love the fact that this theater where we do this show has such a history, such a connection mm. to one of the greatest, greatest country singers of all time, Conway Twitty. Oh, he just amazing. Just the nicest man. Mima loved him so much. He and my grandfather, Mooney, were great friends. And just when Trey and I got together, the chemistry was just like that. And we have had such a great time and people have really responded so well to what we're doing. And so we're just we're just chasing that fire. Well, Taylor, we're having you here tonight, and I, I've got to have you promise that you and Trey will come back together because I want Trey to play this theater again he like his to. grandfather did. Wink Martindale, would you tell the folks at home how they can go ahead and get this brand new album by Taylor? To get your copy of Taylor Lynn Sings Loretta Lynn, go to taylorlynn.com. 